This is the final day in a week's worth of tricks with zebra cubes, day seven. And today I'm going to show you how you could use one PLL algorithm to solve two ZBLLs, both of them being U cross cases. So the way you recognize this first one here is the back is completed. And so is this side, like the completed bit, the solved bit is a, like a, a backwards L or a J and all of this needs to be swapped so the way you would do it is you first move this corner all the way here and then you do this will be a setup to a Y perm so you do the Y perm and there it should be solved moving on to the next case the way you would do it is you first recognize it this time the L is now st standing up like that so and now the way you would recognize the second one is of course this section is completed but instead of the block being completed here it's completed back here and this corner and this corner need a swap and these two need to too and the way you do that is you put the corner here so that way it sets up into a Y perm. You do your Y perm and there you go. If you need that again, here's the first case. We move the corner here so that way a Y perm is now set up so that way these two edges get swapped into the solve position and these two corners get sol swapped into the solve position. So we do an F followed by a Y perm. Oops. And then we should have it solved. For our next case, by moving this corner here, we have set up our Y perm where these two would get swapped into the solved position and these two would get swapped into the solved position. So you're going to do R prime followed by a Y perm followed by R and you should have the cube solved. That is it for a week's worth of tricks for zebra with zebra cubes. And if you want me to do another daily series like this, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I could do it. But that was it for this series and this video. Thank you all so much for watching all videos in the past week. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!